Hello and welcome back to Yukumo Village. So this is MH Kick here and this is Yukumo Village. And yes, um following up from the last farming session where I went to not exactly farming session, but the last key quest where I got um blue drafts and roggies, I am now able to upgrade my bow into the sponge gear one. So I shall do that. And I can apparently upgrade it again. Nice! Oh, but I can't go any further. Yep, um, to go on further, I need the Aqua Sacks and Monster Bone Plus, which I believe are from higher ranked monsters, I'm not too sure, but here we go, this beautiful yellow bow which uh, looks neat and furry. Anyways, so today what's on the list is we will be hunting the Kuro Peko. And once again, I'll be heading into the multiplayer hall, and we'll now have our new resident gamer, I suppose. <laughs> so yes, here we have Mido-chan. Where are you? There we go. Hello. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Crow Peko is a really annoying bird, and well, he likes to sing songs and summon the help of other creatures, other monsters rather. And it's much it's very much advisable that you bring along some dung bombs. I hope you have some. Mm-hmm. Alright, so for all for all of you that do not know, I will show you how to create some dung bombs and how they used. Uh, but before that let me just get some some drinks. I guess I'll go with the milk coffee as usual. <laughs> Offense is the new defense. I mean, it's the best defense. I mean, it depends. Uh, whatever. Okay, I got, I got a voucher. Uh, not really a voucher, but meh. All right, so let's just keep going. Anyways, this old guy here is the the guild guild office branch head or something like that. And so, yeah, he's the guild manager of this office branch. Yep, and so throughout the guild, multiple hunters can embark on the same quest, and essentially, it's how the entire low rank, high rank system, and what is the purpose of multiplayer and all that. So, yep, that's about it. So I'm just gonna pick up the quest first. Ah, uh, the loading times though. So what exactly is a damn bomb? Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Before I get distracted. Okay, here we go. Um, first off, <laughs> It's advisable for you to buy this center box. And where is it? Yes, a book of combos. So, uh, just one is is sufficient. So just buy a book of combos one and a book of combos two, or uh, up to as many as there are. If I'm not wrong, there's three or four. I can't remember. So yeah, what does that do is that this book of combos they will increase your crafting success chances. So now that I have that. I would like to craft some bomb casings, which I already have 8 of them, so I don't need. But now to craft these, bomb casing and dung will get me dung bomb. You realize that even though I have both the books with me, um, it's only still an 85% chance, which is actually not ideal because there's still a 15% chance of failure. But surprisingly, I have not failed yet, so I shall not jinx it. <laughs> but you see, if I take out the books, from my inventory, and I combine from this. But, oh wait, damn, it's still eighty-five percent. Oh well, I guess I should have checked it before the <laughs> before the crafting, but it's fine. Essentially, these books will increase your um, crafting success rates, and it's very much advisable that you bring them or buy them. Yeah, if you want to craft in the field, yes, you have to bring them along. If you are just crafting in your inventory here, then you can just leave it in your box. So yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna bring along um, five poison coatings because uh, yeah, and then the dung bombs. Where are they? Where are the dung bombs? Here. Just bring five of them. Um, potions, mega potions. I think five should be sufficient. And yeah, are you ready? Yep. Let's roll. Okay. 
So the Kurobeko is a it's a very fiery bird. <laughs> and noisy. Yep, it sings a lot of songs like like birds ah, do. Ah. <laughs> You sound like a crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, they do provide down bombs. All right. Uh, oh, I remember. When it's singing, if you throw a sonic bomb at its face, it would, it would get like startled and yeah, you can interrupt the singing. So do grab one of the sonic bombs as well. Okay. It's quite hard to time it right though. I mean, you have to throw it right in its face or so. Uh. Oh wait, don't tell me- Oh darn! This bow can't use poison coatings, that's- Ah, uh, I should have checked that earlier. Fail. <laughs> yeah, this can use power, close range, paint and exhaust. Oh well, what else? Exhaust would be good. Uh, I don't- I don't have any exhaust coatings. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> where so, are we going? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know where he spawns, I forgot. Wait, what? <sighs> This guy is a pierce bow. Oh dang, it's a pierce bow. It's not a rapid bow. Oh well. Alright, basically what a pierce bow does is that... Oh, oh wait, insects. I want to catch some bugs. <laughs> Flash bug. Bitter bug. And... God bug. Sweet. Wow. Five times? That's a lot. Alright. Anyways, as I was saying, um, the pierce bow basically... The, it shoots through the monster multiple times, like okay. and landing multiple hits. And uh, the Kuroperka is not here, so gotta go somewhere else. And as compared to Rapid Bow, where it fires a uh, a volley of arrows in a vertical formation from up to down. So normally, Rapid Bow has more precise shots. I mean, in terms of. Uh, if you're trying to break a certain particular part. Mm. Pierce Bow, on the other hand, is more useful for taking down larger monsters where there are many, many hit. Like, you'll pass through many. Uh, you'll hit the monster many, many times while passing through the monster. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. And I'm, I'm lost. Wait. Me too. Oh dear. <laughs> this is not a very friendly cabin. Okay, why not? Ah, there we go, the exit. Wait for me! <laughs> oh my god, where are you? There, oh, just, just there. Yeah, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Your cat's like, staying inside. It's fine, he'll come with me. He yeah. found his the, home. The question is, where is... Where is the bird? Is he at seven? I don't think so, he doesn't like to go caves. Not that I know of. Wait, we were at 1? We came out from 1, we went to look at 2, he's not at 2, we went to 5, he's not at 5. 10? Oh my god, is he really at 10? Ah. Uh, let's just. I'm see. going from 7. Okay, then I'll go from. I'll go back to 2. Hmm. And check it out. Yeah, and because this guy flies, it's, it's uh, best to paintball him. Okay. Because he may just fly to some awkward place which will be difficult to locate him. In before this video becomes like 20 minutes of us trying to even find the Kuropeko. Where is he? Oh! He just... I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, I caught a glimpse of him. He's flying off from here. So, the thing about the flying monsters is that, yes, you can see the shadow over there? Yep. So basically, he should be flying over to your area. Or... Ah! <laughs> Yeah, you can follow the shadow, and you can see where he'll fly to. No, he might actually be going to 6. Let me just check that out. For fly monsters, most of them, uh, you can find out where they're going by locating the shadow when they're flying. Which I repeated myself, I don't know how many times. Um, that was like 4 times. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I get, you know... Oh. <laughs> Stop reminding me that. Where? He's not at 6. I think he might actually be at 8. I'll check that out. Yeah. I'll go and uh... I'll backtrack to... 9, I guess. He's annoying. I mean, he flew in that way, but he's not there, which is weird. Let 
doesn't seem to be there, right? Nope. Or oh, he could have gone to three. <sighs> yeah, he may have so gone. So far. He's not here, that's for sure. He's not at nine. I'll check, check three out. Whoa. What? It flew away from seven. Oh, okay, so it, it does go to seven. Can you look yeah. at the shadow? See where does it go? Um, Towards which area? It flew straight up and disappeared. There's no shadow? Nope. Interesting. I guess I'll check three out. No, I think I should check it. I'll go and check two. Just to see. Hmm. Where is this bird? Holy crap. He said oh. it. Alright. I'll head over. Oh gosh, so far. I see the paintball heading towards it. This is one annoying bird. Ah! Ah! Oh, there's a black cat that steals your stuff. <laughs> Two of them. The Milangs? Milangs? I can't pronounce that thing. Yeah, that thing. Oh, he comes to this area. Interesting. I don't remember that. But... Oh. Yeah, so, um, if you can see on Kony, the feline companion, he has this, uh, whoa! He has this double purple triangle, um, indicate inverted triangles on it. It's basically that he has elemental resistance lowered. It's because of the bird, the kill back of what it speeds. What exactly is it? Um, it's some kind of mucus stuff that it lowers your elemental resistance. So what it's exactly? not poison? No, it's not, it's not. You will not take your health, but um, if you were to take any kind of elemental ah! damage, it will hurt a lot. Okay, he's doing his yep that thing one more time. So, Kurobeko is a very, uh, quite an interesting monster in the sense that it has this flint like sh structures on the on its wings that allows it to create sparks and this kind of flaming explosions. So the very good reference to another game that I know of, or you might know of, is say for example Minecraft is the flint and steel. Where you make fire and sparks and yeah, cave Ah! Yeah. Watch out for the spit. Oh you got hit by it. Give me my mega potion! <laughs> you. Ugh. Oh crap, you flew away. Oh well. Alright. Mega potion is back. Alright. <laughs> okay, that's good. So, um, the thing about the Pierce bow is that my critical distance is longer range than that of. Not longer range, but it's further away from me. Than it is uh, for the rapid, rapid type arrows, or the rapid type bows, whatever you want to call them. So, where is he? Ten. Wait, he flew to ten? Oh my god! Cheated my feelings. He flew past you. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have to run the extra distance just to get him. Ugh. It's good to forget to chase after him. Yeah, because you're, you know, too busy chasing after that cat for your mega potion. <laughs> hey, it's important, okay? I didn't say it's not important. The way you made it sound. Ah! Wow, <laughs> that scream though. <laughs> Remember that you can throw items uh, even though your weapon is unsheathed as a sword and shield. So if you start singing, you can throw a sonic bomb in his face. Although he hasn't started singing yet, which is a relief. Hmm. And what does his singing do? Uh, Oh, you will find out. Mm, Alright. <laughs> it's the surprise that everyone will get. Oh, he's angry. Ah! Oh, yep, watch out for that. Oh, that was scary. The fire thing oh. is scary. Yep. I need to try and create more distance between me and him so I can. Whoa! Three! Yep, um, I can make use of my critical distance more effectively. Although I'm not even landing a hit in the first place. 
Oh my goodness. I, I'm so off form today. Oh, nice. Oh. So basically, you can, you can break his... Um, Wait, I think it's, it's broken. One of it. One of it? Really? Yeah. Ah! Oh, oh my yeah, god, I'm dying. Right. But I want to run to another map first. So basically, you can break his uh, flint light shrunk. Oh, he's flying away. Okay. Yeah, you can take the time to heal up. No big deal. See, this is where that one mega potion is important. Okay, okay. It's important. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, you can um, break his beak and you can damage his flint or the flint-like structures on his wings and so he would have to re um, try and ignite it a few more times before he can actually do any kind of... Oh, is he gonna sing? Yeah, he's singing. Oh, too late. Ah. Yep, it's over. Oh, that was called singing. Yep. Oh, he's exhausted. I believe he just called in the Ludroth that came from behind me. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I saw them running towards you and I didn't tell you. Wow. So much I for being a they were cute. Ah! Oh, they oh. just look cute. No. Confused. Oh, he died. oh he's singing again. Oh, crap. Oh, did he, did he buff himself? I think it did. He looks redder than usual right now. I don't know. He seems to still be fatigued, so I... The blue drop though, are being really, really annoying. By just walking right in front of my face. Oh, he's singing. He's calling for something. Come on! Oh, that's too late. Ah! Okay. That was very fast. Yeah, which is why sword and shield is a very important uh, weapon because of how fast you can react to a monster's actions. Oh, did I just break his beak or something? Nope. Damn. I think he broke his other flint. Oh, that would still be nice. Yep, he's broken. Okay, sweet. Nice. So anyway, with regards to the pierce bow, I'm trying to hit him um, either laterally as in, in terms of like, basically I want my arrow to travel through him as much as possible. So I'm hitting from either the tail to the beak, or from one wing end to the other wing end. You can tell he's shooting the okay. Oh. Oh, he's enraged again. Wait, I can't see him. The loot drops are in your face, right? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Oh, he's going to the spot. Oh crap! He caught he caught the bear. Ah, bear! Ah. <laughs> oh wait, he's flying away. Just just follow him away. Just follow him and leave the bear here. It's fine. Where's he going? If the bear does come again, though, we will simply just throw a dark ball, and that Thanks. should chase the bear away. Oh, so that's what the dumb bomb is for. Yep. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Oh gosh. You just miss. He's he has such a small frame. It's not my fault. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just making excuses at this point. You are. I don't need to remind me. Ludroth is coming to say hi. Oh. That's wrong with Oh, he's calling, he's calling for the bear again. Oh my god, my poor cat. I just watched my cat just make a full run of it. I hope the bear is not here yet. Is this chicken is bad? <laughs> Apparently it is. Oh. Oh my god, the bear is here. Oh crap. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna. No! Whoa, whoa, I dodged through that. Yay. I'm just gonna throw a dung ball on the bear. Ah! Did I just run straight into the bear? I'm sorry. 
Yep. Alright, I threw a down bomb at the bear. He should be going away soon. Yep. He's Look going. Look out for him. Oh crap. Ouch. Ah, it's fine. Just a little poop. He just dipped me a little bit. Yep, the bear's gone. Or going, at least. Speeding again. So watch out for that. I need to sharpen now. Find a safe spot. He's angry again. Oh, he's doing the fire thing. Whoa, ah, the wind pressure. Oh gosh, that arrow just flew right above him. Sparks, sparks. So, I'm still trying to break his beak, but because I'm using a pierce bow, it's going to be slightly more difficult. Because I already have um, like focus point of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Ah, that was so hard to hit. Oh, he flinched. Face me! Or butt face me. I wanna have a good shot at your beak. Oh, he's healing himself. Yep, that song heals and heals himself for a bit. That could be a good sign. It probably means that he's uh, quite low on health, possibly. Ah. Yep, you gotta watch out for that. Is there any signs for that? Um, just try not to stand directly in front of his face, although it's quite difficult if you try to break his feet. I just saw that shield. That's where his highest damage point is. It's his face and his chest. Uh, sometimes you got to forego a bit of damage for survivability, <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna speed again. Yep. Try desperately to aim for his big steel. Oh gosh. He's exhausted. Gonna... Yep. Oh, he's healing. Oh, there we go. Nice. You can see the crack on his beak quite clearly. And uh, basically, oh. I interrupted his singing back there. And he's. Mm. I believe that's supposed to. Oh, wow. What happened? I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure if his song got interrupted. It might have. I guess it did. I think your cat interrupted it. Yeah, with like some message form. Yeah. Oh, oh he healed he... us! Basically, by interrupting him while he's singing, you have a chance of making him do wrong things. Like, if he wants to heal you, he'll heal himself rather. you end up healing us instead. By the way, there's a shiny thing on the floor. I'm very tempted to pick it up and... He's flying. Yeah, you can pick it up. Oh no! We didn't paintball him! It's alright, just look for a shadow. Look at his shadow, rather. He's going that, that right, way. Sure. So I believe he's going six back to... 6 eight. I believe right? it's 8. Okay. Yeah, 6 seems a bit small. It might be 7, it might be 8. We will find out, I guess. It's okay. Just gonna pop another ration. Hmm. So far this fight is going pretty well, not that bad. <laughs> it before I jinx it, but yep, there he is. So I'm just gonna Seven. pinball him. Yep. Oh, he's calling for Juggy. Juggy, how do you know? Because I, I... I can recognize the call. What? There's a difference? Yeah, like he'll, he'll try and imitate the sound that literally is this like... Now he sounds like a bear. Actually, I can't tell behind the sound of the OST for this one. 
but that might actually be the bear call. It sounded like. <laughs> All right. Like that. Does that count? I'm not sure. Watch out. We just we shall see who turns up, I guess. There, behind you. Oh my goodness, really? Yes. I'll uh, throw a down bomb. All right, you got it. Yep. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's here. In my face. Tron. All right. The bear should be leaving soon, I guess. Ah. Oh no. Nope. Hey bear, you wanna go? Can I throw another dung bomb? Yeah, you can. Oh, never mind, he's gone. Yep. Oh, damn it. Oh, what, what? Did you just see he's stone there for a while? Yeah, <laughs> although he's angry, but yeah, he did. I was like, so confused there, I was like, <laughs> was, was it lag or something? <laughs> Shots. So what this red thing around on around your character? Red thing around my what, what, what thing around my There's this red line. Oh that aura. Oh. That's because of your cat. Okay. Yeah, basically um if I'm not wrong, you gave your cat the armor food skill, so occasionally you would play not armor food, what am I saying? The attack flute, or is it demon flute? I can't remember. Demon flute. Yeah. That sound more. Oh, fun. it can't even fly up. Oh, flitch. Yeah. So anyway, the demon flute basically means the occasionally your cat will play a a demon, literally a flute that increases the everyone's attack in the area. Everyone. Everyone meaning all the fellow hunters, not including monsters. Ah. Ah. And Hello hunters and felines, yes. Your yes, felines too. It's in... Heading towards 8. 8. Oh yeah, I forgot we pinball him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, well, I was learning how to look at his shadow. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Kill him! You can actually capture him now. But oh. He didn't bring traps, so... Whatever. Can we just kill him? Sure, oh wow, okay. That just went right through his th throat. That red bulbous thingy. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Mm. He's gonna jump at you. Oh my gosh. He should be. Dying soon? Yes. Oh god, I just shot above him again. I'm terrible. Stop singing! No one is here to listen to your song. Actually, we are here, but that's not the point. Let's just hope that we can finish it here without having to chase him another area or so. Whoa! Whoa! Dangerous bird. Playing with fire is dangerous, don't you know? Blanket. Ah! Crap. Oh! That was a direct hit for both of us. Yep. As you can see, the arrow is like the double arrows, which means it's uh, double the elemental resistance down. Which means oh. if you get hit by that fire thing, it's gonna be a huge pain. It's gonna hurt really, really bad. Oh, but I got hit by your cat's bomb. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I think that does physical damage, so I'm not too worried. Oh gosh, that was close. Yep, your cat just uh, did the demon suit again. Oh hey! <laughs> you might be careful, cause he might just stand up and burst you in flames again, or not this time. Interesting. Oh my god, he's enraged yet again. Oh, watch out. Boom. Boom. Ah, missed. I figured out that you can um, escape that by running Ouch. perpendicularly. Oh, yeah. 
Or you can just roll behind him as well. That works. Oh no, no, please don't come, please don't come. He's targeting at me. Yep, I knew it. He's running a little too far for me. Ah, uh, he's... Oh, oh no, he's trying to run away. <laughs> oh, come back here! Ah, uh, I couldn't get him that high up. Darn it. Oh well, let's just see where he'll go. And... He's going to area 5. So, oh, we can go down from here. I think he's like gonna make a huge U-turn and go to 10. <laughs> that would really suck if he does though. Oh no, the bear is here. Yeah. Yep. Ah, uh, he's here though. Do you want a dung bomb, the bear? Yep, I got it. I'll get Kuro Peko first Bye, then. Bye bear! Oh my gosh. Apple, he's, he's coming he's... back. Yeah. He should be... Ah. Uh, go away Honestly, bear. Honestly, I... Just let your friend die. Thanks for the heal. Is the bear gone? Yep. Like oh, we did it! Nice! Well done, well done. Yay! So here comes the... Well, the feathered bird is finally down. <laughs> Get it, chicken. <laughs> no way, chicken does fetish. have. <laughs> you mean the coloured chicken? Yeah, coloured. Vivid feather. Ah, oh, that's nice. Alright, so I guess we'll wrap it up here for today. It's been another pretty long hunt. Um, not sure how interesting it was. <laughs> Alright, so. Ah, uh, there we go, collecting bugs. <laughs> Instead of saying bye to the audience. That's alright. So, see you all next time. Bye. Bye.